Hey guys, welcome back to another exclusive podcast from INFX. At INFX, we're dedicated to bringing you the absolute best trading education to help you take your trading to the next level. In today's podcast, we'll be talking about the top three lessons I've learned through my trading journey. I've traded for a long time now, and I've gone through different market cycles, I've gone through different trading strategies, I've gone through many different endeavors through the financial markets. So I've filtered it down to the three things that I think will help you and guide you through your own trading journey. The first of which is, you must have a consistent set of actions before you get a consistent set of results. Do you want to be a consistently profitable trader? I believe most of you would say yes. Then your actions must be consistent. If your actions are not consistent, how do you expect to get a consistent set of results? If on one day you're using the Fibonacci and the next day you're using price action and then after that you're using some quantitative EAs or automated trading and then you try different strategies like the breakout and the pullbacks, eventually your trading results will be all over the place. You want to ask yourself, what do I want out of trading? Am I looking to generate a consistent income? Am I looking just to grow my wealth over time? Am I looking just to capture trends in the market? Once you have actually defined those goals, then you should move to find the trading method and strategy to meet those goals. Once you've defined what you're trying to achieve, then you're more likely to find the trading method that gets you to your needs. Secondly, you must have an edge in trading. When you trade the markets, you want to make sure that the trading strategy method that you're using, whether through back test or forward test, gives you an edge in the market and it shows you a positive expectancy at least over the last five or 10 years of data. This shows that the strategy makes money historically. So when you trade the live markets, you could possibly expect to make money as well. You might be thinking that backtesting is useless because it doesn't work in the real markets. That might be true at some level, but it doesn't mean that just because it works in the backtest, it will work in the live markets as well. However, what I can be sure with you is that if the trading strategy fails during the backtest, it's almost most certainly going to fail in the live markets. So if your trading strategy works during a backtest, that's a possibility, a relatively good possibility that it could work in the live markets. And that's the purpose of doing backtest, to kind of figure out or evaluate whether the strategies are worth exploring, worth putting at time and effort into venturing further towards. Lastly, always understand and remember there's more than one way to approach the financial markets. When I got into trading at the first point, I had this mindset that there's only one certain type of trading strategy that works or a certain way to trade the markets that only the pro traders know and that I don't. If you want a more quantitative approach, the quant traders trade the markets using fixed mechanical rules. Then you also have traders who just simply rely on technical analysis like trend followers. If the price goes up, they buy, and if the price goes down, they cut their losses and probably start selling. There are many ways that you can make money from the financial markets. So just remember, don't think that there's a holy grail out there. Don't go chasing that silver bullet. I can almost certainly guarantee you because there isn't any. Anyway, guys, that's it from me for today's podcast on the top three lessons I've learned from my trading journey. Do remember to subscribe to our podcast as here at INFX, we're dedicated to bringing you the very best trading education to take your trading to the next level. Till then, stay safe and trade safe.